Hey, welcome back to 90s Well Cards. It's Jake Roy here. So we've got a fun challenge actually for you today. This is some packs that we've opened in the past, but we're going to do a little challenge with it, switch it up a little bit, and uh, let's get into it. Welcome back. So we have this week 99-2000 Stadium Club Chrome, and we have packs versus box opening. So we've got 10 packs here that are loose packs, and then we have a full sealed box with 24 packs. So what we're going to do is we're going to bust these open, we're going to go with the box first, and then we'll do the packs, and we're going to see which wins the challenge. Do the box get the better results, or do the packs get the better results? So uh, I thought this would be a little bit of fun and uh, I'm hoping we get some fire in this. So we've gone through this stuff before, so uh, you know, we've talked about some of the fire, but we're gonna show you guys some, some of the fire again. So let's get right into that. All right, so here we've got some PC items that we could pull, uh, but first I wanna talk about something that we can't get just to make sure that everybody's clear. Um, so this is a Stadium Club Chrome Refractor top, uh, box top. So some people um, have asked me if these are in the Stadium Club Chrome boxes or if they're in regular Stadium Club boxes. So these are box toppers in the regular Stadium Club boxes, not in the Stadium Club Chrome. So you can pull a Stadium Club Chrome Jumbo or a Stadium Club Chrome Refractor Jumbo in those. This is a uh, Tim Duncan and this is the Refractor version. So just wanna make sure that when we open it, nobody's surprised to see that we don't have a box topper of one of these in the box. So starting up here with the parallels, we have first day issue, and you can tell it's a first day issue, it says it right above the Stadium Club Chrome logo. So they have a stated insert rate of one in 47 packs, and they're also serial numbered on the back to 100. Um, so pretty rare cards, it's interesting to have the pack stated odds on there as well, a lot of companies didn't have those. Um, but really nice, I, I really enjoy this parallel set, and I think it's a little bit underrated. Uh, it can be a little bit hard to detect, and you can also find fake versions on uh, eBay that are missing the serial numbers. Now, some of them have the gold leaf stamping that fall off, and you can still see the indentation of where the serial number would be. But there are some that have absolutely no indentation or anything, and those are ones that uh, I'd recommend you steer clear of. Uh, you can get them at a pretty affordable price, though. So that's the first day issue refractor. Now we've got the first day issue <laughs> refractor. So this is Isaac Austin uh, in, in the prior video you would have seen my Rod Strickland so this is just a different so you know again I really love these really nice looking cards and they are serial number to 25 they also have pack odds of one in uh, 186 packs so pretty hard to pull and you know something like this Isaiah Austin not a terribly valuable card you're probably looking at you know 10 20 30 dollars but if you get a star it can be much more valuable than that so definitely getting a Kobe or one of the star rookies would be nice to see and then uh, there are, and I don't have one here to show you, but there are just regular refractor parallels. So it looks the same just without the first day issue on the first day issue refractor. So those are one in 12 packs. And then moving on to the true colors. So here we've got a Tim Duncan. This is a true colors refractor. So the non-refractor version is one in eight packs. And then the refractor version is one in 40 packs. So these are really cool looking cards. Again, the refractors just kind of jump off of this, even with, you know, kind of, a little bit more subtle colors with the Spurs, but when you get some of the other uh, players with, you know, say the Raptors like Vince Carter or Kobe with some of the purple and yellow, the colors just even pop even more on these. So really cool looking cards. We'd love to see us get a couple of those. Then we have the clear shots. So this is an interesting set. Uh, clear shots are one in 16 and it's an all rookie set. So you've got all the 99, 2000 rookie class. This is a Wally Serbiak we have here. And this one's actually a refractor. So it might be hard to pick up on the front that it's a refractor. And the way that you can definitively tell is you've got die cuts. You can see one up by the ball and one kind of by his, uh, his bust. So that's how you can tell for sure when you're looking at the front. Uh, the other way you can tell is it does show up a little bit better, the refractor finish on the back. Uh, and it also says refractor right underneath the number. So that's a clear way to tell on the clear shots. Interesting how Stadium Club Chrome, known for you know Chrome technology, used acetates here. I think that's kind of neat. It is cool with the die cuts as well. And then we've got Eyes of the Game. So the Eyes of the Game, again, is an acetate set, but this really hones in on some of the stars of the day that played the point guard position uh, for the most part. You do have some big guys, but there's a lot of point guards in this set. You know, Allen Iverson is the one we have here. Jason Williams is another guy we could get. John Stockton, and, and the list goes on from there. So 
the base ones for Eyes of the Game are 1 in 24 packs, and then the refractor version are 1 in 120 packs. So these would be similar, this is the base, but the refractor would be similar to the clear shots, and it would say it right underneath the number on the back as well. Pretty cool there, would love to see us get a refractor of that. And then getting into one of the nicer insert sets, we've got the Visionaries. So Visionaries are one in 32 packs. Again, we have a Tim Duncan here, and I really love this design. It's really kind of a classy look where you've got the player in the front, and then you've got a couple pictures of them playing in the back. And it really reminds me of the Flare Showcase sets that I love so much. But then adding the, the chromium finish on there is just a great touch. And then you've got a lot of gold on there. It's just a really nice looking set that I enjoy a lot. So. That's the Visionaries there. And then the Visionaries Refractor. We've got a Vince Carter here. So these one are in 160 packs. So pretty hard to pull, uh, but again, gorgeous looking cards. And you know, you can just see how the colors play really well there. And you know, Vince Carter, he was one of the biggest, if not the biggest star at the time that this set came out. So he was definitely uh, a player that you were looking to pull. And then if you're looking on the back, again, like all the other cards, right underneath the number where it says V1, it sure. says Refractor, you know so you can have a Refractor. So let's get right into the challenge. All right, so here we've got the box. This is what we're gonna start off with. I am obviously team pack, but we will see which wins. All right, nice on the inside, Get rid of that stuff. I'm trying to forget that's how these boxes work. Yeah, I've never seen that before. All right, pack number one. James Posey. That's a rookie. Andre Miller, also a rookie. Glenn Rice with the Lakers. Robert Ori with the Lakers, Big Shot Bob, and Vladi Divac. I should probably put the rookies out there, right? Yeah, that would help. They don't look any different though, right? No, rookies. there's nothing different about them. All right. You just gotta know. You just gotta know your stuff. You just gotta be in the know, huh? Just gotta know your stuff. I'm not sure if I'm in the know as well. Brain I'm like trying to like find, make sure I don't run over a refractor or something here. Sean Marion rookie, right? Yep, that's rookie. Walta. <laughs> Fan favorite. Jake's favorite. Lehman Murray? No, Matt Hart. Yeah, these, oh. <laughs> these packs are going to end up on the cutting room floor. Here, cut them out. Probably. Uh, Ron or Tess? That's a rookie. That's a rookie, right? Yeah. A lot of rookies. Rookies. Okay. And there's another one. <laughs> Wally. Wally Zerbiak. Dan Marley. Thunder Dan. <laughs> Anton Jamison. And Sharif. Sharif. The refractors are sometimes a little bit hard to pick. That's up. what I'm trying to. I'm, I'm like, am I gonna see it right away? Or am I gonna have trouble? It's seeing easiest it? to see it down on the bottom. Felipe Lopez. That's your boy. I know. Dominican MJ. Mario Ellie. Junkyard Dog. Oh, my other boy, Michael Dolia. Yeah, this is your other boy. This is just Sean Bradley. And Sean Kemp with the wow. Cavs. I pulled anything. There's nothing in here. Now, Joe. Only a team 20 pack. years ago, when we were doing this at your house as kids, yeah. who would have thought we would still be doing the same thing it's, it's a, as adults? It's about nobody. And sharing it with 100 people on I'm, the interwebs. I'm glad that we are more than 100. Come on, give yourself a little bit of credit for that. I just find it hilarious. William like, Avery. This is what we did almost every Oh, day. we got a fractor. It's Jim Jackson. Oh. Could be worse. He's in the superpower set. Good for him, man. <laughs> Guess you can tell the difference. Yeah, that Ryan one's cool. Reeves. Um, Lindsey Hunter. Juwan Howard. I think I have an elusive right. double refractor pack. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. I don't know. You, you think we'd still be doing it, man. Yeah, I just find it funny. Like, this is what we did every single weekend of going through each other's cards and trading stuff like that. And we're still doing it as adults. It's true. We get we get better stuff now, though, than when we were kids. <laughs> better than the 92-93 Ultra. Yeah, it's, it's a little better. <laughs> hey, there's the base size egg, Austin. Hey, there you go. I'm good with your, uh, your other one. That's really rigid. Oh, there we, there we go. Eyes of the game. 
Jason Kidd. All right, not a fractal. No. We're starting to get some hits, though. Gary Payton. Chris Mills. And Glenn, the big dog. Right, that's our one per box in the eyes of the game, right? 24 packs in here? Yeah. yeah. So I can't believe so it. So can't get two. Okay. And Tim Thomas. The rookie, too, is it? No. No. Tim Thomas is a rookie, 97. 97, oh, 98. With Tim Duncan, you should know that. Keith Van Horn. I don't know his whole class. He was traded for Keith Van Horn, in fact. The Sixers drafted Keith Van Horn. And uh, they ended up doing a little swap a room. Good. Good. Oh, really matter for Zach and Tom. Lamar Odom. Rookie. There you go. Alexander Radovich. Rookie. Right there. Nothing Ray Allen. Where's those stars? Who put, Steve who put Steve Kerr in there? He's a star coach. Tim Duncan. Oh, he's a star? And Charles Barkley. Tim Duncan's about to go in the hall. Indeed. Really? The, the penny collector wants to throw shade on Tim Duncan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That penny collector is also the same one that puts Nick Anderson in star piles. That's right. That's right. Free throws. Mr. Welcome. Free Throw. Hey, there's Nick Anderson. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Speaking of. Jake's oh, the there inserts. we go. Hey, the non-refractor. The non-refractor, clear shots, Wally, Zerbiad. Oh, wow. Vin Baker. Jake's pulling all the inserts. I'm pulling up. Marcus yeah, Camby, where's that? With you. And Rick Smuts. Jesus. Rick Smuckers. Give Zach a shout out over here. I don't know if he watches this video. Sometimes he says he does. Uh, we've got. Oh! Hey, here we go. Shots. Elton Brand. Nice. They're cool looking. Yeah, they are. Mitch Richmond. I mean, since he's in the Hall of Fame, this. No. Is he a star? No. No? Okay. Christy. Ray for Friends. And Sam Cassell. Sam Castle. Welcome. <laughs> Steve Francis. Rookie. Rookie of the Year. Michael Finley. Mm, these were really missing out. There's the Elton Brand. Hey, Jason Williams. Baron Davis. So Michael Finley There's and Jason Kobe. Williams are going in the star pile, but not Mitch Richmond. Jason Williams, I can understand. Kobe. Stefan Marbury. That was a pretty solid pack. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, Jason Williams goes next. He's Dude, back, guy. I, I back get Jason day, Williams, but like Michael Finley and not Mitch Richmond. Back in the day, if you... I agree, Mitch Richmond doesn't belong in that star pile, but neither does Michael Finley. Well, you know, I had a little hesitation there. When I had, I had it, I wasn't sure. I didn't want Jake to yell at me. Back in the day, if you open that pack, get a Steve Francis rookie, a Stefan Marbury, a and a Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. Dude. And, my, and a Jason Williams back then. Yeah. Jason yeah. Williams goes in there because he's my PC guy, so. Yeah, and oh, Jason Williams is also somewhat collectible. Michael Finley's my side PC. Right. Michael Finley's just as collectible as Hakeem Olajuwon, so let's let's be careful. Yeah, but Hakeem Olajuwon's also one of the hey, there's my Baron top Davis. 25 greatest players of all time. Got all the rookies for God, you get Nice, Ooh, true is that color a fractor? refractor, it sure is. Oh, wow. That's a beauty. KG, God, you get all the inserts, huh? Ooh, that's a nice card. That looks cool. The okay. colors, the green right. looks nice, right? Yeah, I think we know who just won the challenge. I Avery guess. Johnson. I think so, just probably. Penny first day refractor. Oh, wow. <laughs> Robert the Tractor Trailer. Not a rookie. And Ruben Patterson. Yeah, if Jake pulls a penny the first Is day. it the Kobe stopper? Is she refractor? <laughs> yeah, it is the Kobe. Oh. And it Bonzi Wells. Ruben Patterson. No, it was uh, Bruce Bowen. I thought it was, no, Ruben Patterson All said them. he was, though. Yeah. Ruben so. Patterson said that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did, right? I know it was Bruce Bowen that actually had like legitimate battles yeah, no, he with Kobe. Was, yeah, when legitimate it was just, no, but Ruben, Ruben Patterson said that when Ruben he was on Patterson, the Blazers. Ruben Patterson, I think, fancied himself. He was on the morning. Blazers <laughs> saying in the playoffs, so yeah, I'm going to stop Kobe. I'm the Kobe stopper. Isaiah Ryder? Ooh, yes. That is a thing. That, that is a thing. That is a thing. That's 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 a beautiful card. Corliss Williams. Let's redo some Duncans for that. You make that deal. This pack is Jerry Stackhouse. Oh, love them, throw them in the stars. <laughs> Kerry Kittles. Nick Anderson's in there. Might as well. Wow. Although I did just throw the Nick Anderson in there to mess with you guys. So. I didn't yeah. even notice you do it. I don't even see the pack. Huh? I think these are beautiful cards. I love these cards. They're gorgeous. Yeah. 
All right. We got Horse Grant. Robert Tractor Trailer. Elden Campbell. Josh is pulling trash. Mm-hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. David Wesley and Iverson. Hey, there we go. Hey. Yo, I pull fire when there's stuff that I actually care about. Oh, is that how it works? You sound yeah. like how Shaq makes his free throws? When yeah. they matter? Exactly. Okay. This is the elitist Jordan collector over here. That's right, yeah, there we go. I, I pull round ball rows and fractors, well, and that's we it. We got a fractor. Okay, okay. It is, El it is Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones. That's a fractor, right? Yes, Sarah Rack right on the back. It looked yeah. like it. I didn't check the back. Corey Maggetti, rookie? Yes, yes it is. Kenny Anderson, not rookie. Hey, that's a first day issue. What? That's a first day issue. I didn't see it. That is beautiful. What? 72 out of 100. I didn't see that. See, I thought it would say it here. No. Oh, it's right, it's uh, right, see where, okay. it's right there. Well, there you go. Just a refractor first. and a first day issue in the same pack. And, and my boy, Corey McGetty. In the same pack. Well, Keith first day issue rookie is pretty sweet. That's really sweet. Charles Sprewell. No, that's great. I, I was literally just about to say how there was one on Com C. Well, I was that just. Did, that doesn't have the numbering on it. Oh, I was just. Well, I was the just. The first day issue? Yeah. I know the refractors have the non number ones that yeah. came out the back. I told you I was looking at the 9899 right inserts, the stadium I'm, I'm going to have to trade for that card. The first day issue said it. Now, even there. though we haven't gotten to your pack yet, are we still questioning who's going to win this challenge? I mean, it just takes one pull, Josh. Oh, okay. But I mean, yeah, that's the talk, one about, pull. talk about surging into the lead. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and it does have the numbering, yeah. too, which is... And it's my answer. football jersey number, so... Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need that card. Excuse I thought it was more going to be the fact that it's one of the few ones... Where Jake actually loves Corey McGetty. You can always yeah. get people with the fact that they always think that he was drafted by the Clippers. Jake yep. loves McGetty. I do. I mean, he's a dookie. So, so there goes my the Magic, that. and then he played on so the... So does that dash team? my hope, then, of a the good first Clippers day issue refractor? I love how Jake just referred to the Darius Miles, Corey McGetty as the good Clippers team, but they uh, currently have Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Right. Was that Quentin, okay. Quentin Richardson, too? Quentin Richardson, Lamar Odom, Elton Brand. They were doing that thing on their forehead. Yeah, yeah. Was it this thing? Yep, yeah, Antonio McDice. The base Jim Jackson. I'm glad you caught the first day of show. Mark. I didn't. I thought it was printed above the name like the previous oh, no. year. Matt Geiger. I There's never... a KG. I'm glad I caught it too. That's that's the thing is those can go undetected because it sometimes is a little bit. Another Mitch Richmond. Thanks for the double. It's sometimes a little bit difficult to see. He's uh, a star. Reach the bottom. Carmel. <laughs> Before Joe's boy Tim Duncan came along, he was the greatest power forward in NBA history. I, I guess it, he's good if he got an MVP award. Jeez. I mean, it should have been George. Terry. Oh, we got a True Colors Stephon Marbury. Nice. Base or refractor? Looks like a base. Oh, looks like a base. We actually should be getting Jeff True Hornacek. Colors in, in all three of these last packs per the odds. Zo. Well, this probably takes the place of one of them. Good. And Rod Strickland. That's it. I should have sold that one too. Last Jason Terry's two. a rookie. Oh, oops. All right. Last. Pack so, Jake, we haven't pulled the first day issue refractor. Right. We haven't pulled. That's a, what we have the packs for. We haven't pulled the clear shot refractor. Correct. We haven't pulled an Eyes of the Game refractor. Correct. Um, hey, there's the base true colors. Oh, nice. Duncan. I told you we're getting. Visionaries, Jason Williams. Oh, woo, woo. Nice. Wow, nice. That's a pack. Oh, I love that. Wow, two PC guys in the same pack for me. Jake! Just loaded on the bottom of the box. Also, Jake just pulled that True Colors. He's trying to trade you that. <laughs> I know, I do. I'm about to trade you. Tyrone Nesby. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jake. Patrick Ewing. And everybody's favorite. Christian Leitner. Nice pack, man. I mean, I'm just liking the cards in the back. Let me tell you, the 90s, they love to just have trash on the top of the pack. You need to wait till that thing was halfway through. Except for this one, you just got those two back to back on the top of the pack. Is that mash? Top of the box. It's a pack. Oh. Mash. Monster mash. Oh, hey, there we go. True Colors Iverson. Wow. You called nice. the shot. The nice. last three packs get in True Colors. You did, yeah, that's right. You did, you did say that I earlier. <laughs> Uh, Johnny Marshall, Randy Brown, and my boy, Tony Kukoc. All right, so now it's Jake's packs. All right, let's go, well, Jake. Do, do, do we have predictions? 
Yeah, yeah no, first day no. issue refractor. Oh. Okay. And we have realistic okay, predictions. Okay, that's a one prediction. Do we have predictions? Uh, I think he's going to get a refractor. I don't know. Uh, an insert many, refractor. I think packs. he's going to get an insert refractor. Ten packs? Ten packs. How many cards per pack? Uh, five. five. All right, 50 base. Okay. All right. <laughs> Jeez. I th- no, I'm going to call him getting an insert refractor. I think he's going to get it. He's not going to get his FDI refractor, but I think Are he's going to get an insert refractor. Uh, penny inserts? Uh, just the parallels. Refractor. Okay. Um, hey, here we go. This is a good start. Lamar Odom. Like it. The only clear shots Penny is getting are the ones that he's putting in his knee at this point, right? Jeez. Now, Jake, what you need to do is just a pork Joe. Penny and a visionary Duncan refractor. Yeah, I don't have that one. That, that, that would be a nice one. And that's also one in 160 packs. Keith so. oh, Kloss. Hey, there's a Duncan base. Hey, Timmy. Okay, not a bad pack to start. My predictions are most on point so far. Baron FDI. Oh, to the Duncan Stuff goes to him. Baron Davis. Baron okay. Davis. Derek Fisher. Really, it was just for the parallels, but yeah. Dan Marley. I mean, he also has the more packs. Grant Hill. Right. That's why I said it was a good deal for him. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have more shots to hit. And there's, 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 there's more. Jake, your boy. Trajan Langdon, that was a rookie we didn't get. Wow, yeah, one. we didn't get that one. Is that the Alaskan assassin? That sure is. There we go. Brian Grant, he was not good in the pros. Jason, <laughs> he was not good in the pros. <laughs> Kenny Anderson. Another Kenny Anderson, geez. And another Randy Brown. Josh, you love Randy Brown. Okay. <laughs> He has, I mean, he does have the four teams on though, so always forgiven. Three I and I back in the day is pricey. Yeah. Felipe Lopez again. Another Brian Grant. Oh, that's a refractor. Oh, wow. There you go. Go. Josh is wrong. wrong. Josh is wrong. I called, I called an insert refractor, so. I guess Brian I Russell. Chris Mullen. Let's see, you want to start pile? He's a Hall of Famer. Sean Bradley. He was also on the training team. Hall of Famer than the Rush. Pull another one. Lamar Odom. Another Lamar Odom rookie. Okay. Radjanovic. They come together. I'm convinced of it. All three packs that we've gotten Lamar Odom. Gary Payton. Gary V. Not Gary V. Chris Mills. And then there's the Strickland. I mean, it's not that exciting getting five base cards. Wow. Wow. Just, you know, two you, cool. you got a good pack at the end of the other two one. Cool right, fine, fine. It's packs. not all base cards. There I got go. an Eyes of the Game Alonzo. And a Michael Finley. Ooh, nice. Not nice. a refractor. Not a refractor. Carlos Williams. Jerry Stackhouse. And Sharif Abdul. <laughs> so Michael Finley's in that star pile, and Gary Payton is not. I didn't do it. I did. I don't. <laughs> You don't want to associate with you two I do. With the way you classify players. I made a mistake. Scott Paget. That's a rookie. Oh, there we go. True colors. Carl Malone. All right. Not a refractor. I mean, I'm pretty good out of these few patterns. Yeah. Ray Allen. I thought that was an FDI. A little, little skip of the heart there. Uh, I'm looking now. Dikembe. Uh, I'm looking for it now. And yes. Yeah. And yes. <laughs> How many times do I pull out Matt Harper magic inserts? I mean, Jake, he's the magic rookie from the legendary 98 class. I don't know why you don't love him. It's a bad year for Penny Teller away fans. I mean, sure. So he blew out his knee. Whoopty freaking name. Mookie Blaylock. Tariq Abdul Wahad. The Ratliff. Carrie Kittles. Will Charles Freewell. That's not a great pack. Yeah, that would be brutal. I keep a couple it's of the set for the bottom of the box. Michael Dickerson. These are all of us. One big old box. There's another Trajan Lady. Okay. All right. Vin Baker. Avery Johnson. And David Robinson. All right. Last chance for an FDI refractor. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Last chance for you to be right, too. You predicted the first day she refracted. Joe just uh, predicted an insert refractor. Mm -hmm. So all of us are going to be wrong. We're all going to be wrong, yeah. Antonio McDice. Jim Jackson base. Third Kenny Anderson in 10 packs. Wow. Another Keith Claus. <laughs> Charles Barkley. All right. Nope. You know who won that one. <laughs> All right, so you guys saw what we pulled. You know, so we really did very well. I'm, I'm really pleased with how we did. So the box, my buddy Joe, you guys have seen him in other videos. Uh, that was what he brought up. And this is one of his favorite sets. So really, we killed the odds in his box. We also beat the odds in the 10 packs that I had. So uh, I think the competition, uh, you know, Joe, Joe clearly won. I mean, for me, the first day issue Cormaghetti that he almost missed when he opened it, uh, it was really the cream of the crop, but you know, we did really well getting true colors, refractor, visionaries, very, very good uh, cards in that. You know, not again, a ton of value in these cards, uh, but you know, I don't, I don't know what exactly he spent on it, but I'm guessing he's probably close to breaking even on it. And I know on the, on the packs, uh, definitely didn't make, make any money back on what I pulled because I got the base refractor, I got an eyes of the game and Carmel, none of them of really collectible stars, but Really fun product. I love the look of this product. This is actually, like I mentioned, one of Joe's favorite uh, base sets and favorite products all together. So it only actually produced this set 99-2000 Stadium Club Chrome for one year. They did a couple of years when they did Chrome previews that were inserted into Stadium Club packs. Uh, but this was the only year that they actually created it as its own standalone set. So question of the day for you is what is a favorite set of yours that had a pretty short print run? I know for me, I love 2000-2001 UD Slam. My brother loves UD Artifacts that came out in 2007-2008. Uh, and, and Joe's got 99-2000 Steam Club Chrome. But uh, what's one that you love that wasn't out for too, too long? Uh, drop that down in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching these videos and these box breaks. New content will drop on Wednesdays. Any bonus material will drop on Fridays. And thanks.